<laughs> hey, Jared, where do, where do you think the team uh, morale is right now after Sunday's game, after two days? Yeah, I mean, I know on the on the flight back it was pretty down. You know, we were kind of disappointed with the outcome, but I, I just know we're going to bounce back and we're going to we're going to go out there and beat Cal. I just know that we're going to bounce back really well. So, have there been any senior leaders or, or upper, upperclassmen that that, that, have, that have really kind of taken the torch to to, to, to kind of talk to the team and, and, and lead the team in the right direction after Sunday? Any, anyone that you can kind of point out or any any conversations that that you guys have had as a team or maybe maybe as an offensive line or anything like that? Yeah, I know that uh, for offensive line, like Liam, Liam has really led us really well, uh, especially for the whole for the whole uh, whole team. He's done a really well, really good job after that game, just getting bringing everybody back, uh, bring your spirits up, just trying to get back and ready for Cal. So. All right, if you have a question for Jared Kingston, just raise your hand, and uh, we'll call on you. All right, Cody from the Evergreen. Go ahead, Cody. Hey, Jarrett. Um, what was uh, what has uh, Jaden Delora's kind of uh, morale and been like in the past few days, and how have you seen him kind of bounce back, uh, whether during the game or uh, in the few days since then? Yeah, he's actually been really good. Uh, I saw him in the training room, and he looks he looks pretty good. Uh, he was smiling. He was having a good time. So I think. He, I think it's all behind him. He's, uh, I, know, I know he didn't have the greatest game, but I know that uh, if he comes out and starts against Cal, he'll do a great job. So. Um, and I know uh, Dion didn't get a lot of carries uh, in that game, but he still averaged over six yards a carry. Um, you know, a lot of things didn't go right for the team, but it seems like the run game has been a consistent part of this team that they can rely on. Uh, what do you think makes it, um, you know, just about this team or you guys as an offensive line that makes that so? Um, well, first of all, Dion's a great back. He uh, runs really, really hard. Uh, I mean, offensive line, we just try to get him, give him holes and uh, get up to the backers so we can get some space. But it credits up to Dion. He's just really good. He runs hard. He's physical. All right, uh, next question is uh, Tracy in. Sorry if I said your name on. Go ahead, Tracy in. Are you there? Go ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, this is Dennis Patchen from KU <laughs> SWX. So, hey, um, just personally, how do you flush a game like the SC game? How do you get rid of that game yourself? Um, just watch all the bad plays uh, and just fix corrections and then watch the good plays too. I mean, uh, just pick out the goods and the bads from everything and try to just make sense of it and, and uh, dissect it and just try to bounce back, you know. Is, it, is that easy to do? For, for me, it is because I, I mean, I'm younger. So like this wasn't my last game. I know like for, for the people, it's harder. But for me, I can I can bounce back, you know. Like, Thank it, you. It, yeah. Hey, other questions for left guard Jarrett Kingston. All right, uh, Zach from Coog Fan. Go ahead, Zach. Jarrett, for Cal's defense, um, looking at them, Coin Dang, number eight, an inside linebacker, kind of jumps out because of his size. Just what have you seen as you watch the film preparing for them? Uh, yeah, we've only got a, a little bit to look at them so far, but uh, I mean, they look good. They're uh, they're uh, they're pretty big up front. They're physical. They're they're more experienced than uh, than the past couple uh, games we've had. So yeah, we're just gonna go out and play. All right, uh, last question for Jarrett Kingston. Just raise your hand and we'll call on you. All right, uh, Theo Lawson, go ahead, Theo. You guys gave up just just two sacks in the first in, in the first two games against Oregon and Oregon State, and then obviously three on Sunday. What do you think led to, to, to some of the some of the breakdowns up front? If you could kind of pin them to one or two things. 
Um, well, first of all, they brought everybody on every single play. I'm pretty sure coach said there was only one time where they brought three. So sometimes that's just hard. I mean, sometimes it's impossible to pick up everybody. So I mean, you can't just pick on one person. So I, I know I had one and that was just communication and just me not playing that well, but you know. Did you root for Cal growing up in, uh, in I guess, Northern, Northern California up there in Anderson? No, I didn't actually. Uh, my parents grew up SC fans, but we're not going to talk about that. 